What's up guys, welcome to today's video. Today what I'm gonna be walking you through is how to cut a one length bob uh, using a side parting. So that's gonna make things a little bit tricky. If you have any questions, post them in the comments below. Let's get started. All right, so sectioning pretty simple. Left hand side parting, like I said, uh, straight down center back after that. And then I separate the front and the back uh, using a vertical parting straight up from the hairline to that high point of the head. So you'll see I do it on both sides. So I look for the high point. Basically all the hair that wants to fall into the back, I separate that section. And then all the hair that wants to fall on the side, I separate that as well. Comb it over nice and tight, clip it away. And then I'm gonna start working straight down the center back. And then we're gonna take a section horizontally over to behind the ear. And that's gonna be our basic sectioning for the cut. All right guys, so now as we move to the left-hand side of the head, there's one thing I really want you guys to take out of this video, and that is focus on the partings that I'm taking and then watch how I cut very parallel to those partings. The parting is showcasing, because it's a horizontal parting, it is showcasing that perimeter shape or that shape of the haircut. So anytime you're working horizontally, you're controlling the shape. Anytime you're working vertically, you're controlling the density. So uh, I'm going through here. I don't care about the density. I'm cutting everything one length. So I'm really following nice and parallel with my scissor to the parting. And I'm gonna keep working all the way up to the crown that same way. All right, so now that we finished up the left hand side now we're going to work the right hand side same exact parting same concept the only difference is now i'm working from that inside out so you'll see me do a backhand cutting technique because my goal is that i always want to be pushing the hair to the outside so on the left hand side i was pushing it from the left to the right and now on the right hand side i'm pushing it from the right to the left uh, and just working my way through just using that little bit of the tip of the scissor following that party. So let's continue all the way up to the crown. Here we go. All right, so now as we move into the side section, I'm gonna take a nice horizontal parting. The key here is to make sure that those partings stay the same on both sides. Really working your way through because if you're using that as a guide, if one side's dipping a little bit more than the other, then you're gonna have one side longer than the other. So a lot of people ask me, how do I make my bobs consistently the same length on both sides? The way you do it is through consistency. So making sure that each parting you take is nice and clean and the same on both sides. So right here, we're now running into another key area of this haircut. Um, this is the hair that wants to fall to the front. So what I wanna do is I wanna section that away, continue up the head shape without interfering with hair that doesn't wanna fall straight down to the side. So what I do is I section away, let's call it the fringe or the bang area, um, basically from that hairline all the way up to the head. You'll get a good clean look at it right here uh, as I section off that little top section. But look, all this hair wants to fall to the side. All that hair that's sectioned away wanted to fall to the front. So I don't want to uh, add it into the haircut just yet because it doesn't want to do the same thing. And also I'd be over directing it 
if I pulled it into this section, which would create length uh, in the front, which I do not want. So if you're not cutting a fringe, then you could add it a little bit later. But if you are cutting a fringe like I am, you want to section out that whole section. I'm doing the same thing here on the left hand side. So now I'll continue horizontal sections. I know that all the hair that I'm cutting is falling straight down. So I know I'm going to be successful. Now, just make sure you're consistent with the partings that you take across the side. All right, so now I'm gonna let out the hair on the fringe area and I'm gonna go in and start my blow dry. I'm gonna do a flat wrap blow dry all the way around the head and then I'm gonna go in and do some iron work to get it nice and smooth and ready for our dry cut. Now, a lot of you guys probably have questions about the color, so I want to talk about that as well. Um, so it's Joyco Luma Shine Dimensional Deposit. I used a 6SB. Uh, she had a level 8 base to begin with, um, so I did that throughout as an overall color. And then I highlighted her in just a little bow tie section, which that color video will be coming out with the Joyco Limelight from Color Intensity to pop that green in there. It's just a really cool accent color kind of shows off the cut a little bit. So um, to go in and cut this straight fringe, what I do is I slightly elevate the hair in my comb using the wide teeth of my comb, not the tight teeth. If you use the tight teeth, it pulls too much tension. I'm gonna use the wide teeth, slight elevation, let's call it 45 degrees off of the forehead, um, holding it up there and then just working that line across. Uh, notice that everything kind of calms down, slows down. You don't wanna rush this part keeping the hair uh, in the teeth, allowing that to hold it in place. Uh, and that little bit of elevation gives it a nice bevel, but if you elevate it too much, it starts to layer it. So just make sure you find that, uh, that nice balance. And then there is our end result. Look at that limelight popping through. Uh, hope you guys like this overall look. Let me know in the comments below if you do. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, make sure you do it. And then also download the FSE Now app on the App Store. Tons of free education, virtual classes, all kinds of stuff on there. Uh, so go check it out.